My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Sky in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. I'm not sure what's happening with the weather. It was really sunny up until the minute I pulled out my phone to start recording and it's suddenly gone extremely dark and there's even been a few raindrops. One of the questions I get asked more than anything else is what do we do with all of the vegetables and fruit that we grow in the garden? Well, we're not allowed to sell it here in Italy. There's very strict rules and regulations about what people can sell and you're not allowed to sell much at all. We can't sell our jams or our vegetables in a farmer's market. You can't even do like a garage sale or a, or a jumble sale or anything and sell old clothes. You're just not allowed to do that in Italy. Carlo is one of five brothers. So he has quite a large family and we share out all the produce that we grow with his family. I'm about to take some stuff down to his parents now. I've got a big bag of zucchini and the first cucumbers and I'm going to take that down to them with a couple of dresses that I ordered for Carla's mum because she saw one of my dresses the other day and wanted one so I showed her the Marks and Spencers website and she loved it so I've ordered her some dresses and hopefully they're gonna fit. So we have rather a lot of zucchini here I might actually take out two for lunch and we have some of the first cucumbers that we've grown and a packet of eggs I started saving egg boxes about two months before we got chickens, so let's hope it doesn't rain. Oh no, it's gone blue again. Should be fine. Yeah, vado, vado giù. Ho okay. tolto due zucchine, la facciamo pazzo zucchini a pranzo. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ti amo. Ti amo. Ci vediamo dopo. Sì. Vuoi fare walkies? Sì, dai, porta. You want to come for walkies? Come see Nona. Vieni. It's been rather noisy here the last few days as they are still working to put up the protective netting. You can just see some down there. I know what I meant to tell you. So as of yesterday, no, as of Monday, today is, actually, I don't even know what today is. I think today is Wednesday, but as of Monday, Carlo has taken holiday leave and he has taken all of the holiday leave from 2019, which they wouldn't let him take last year because there was nobody to cover and take his place at the cemetery. So he has now taken the whole of his 2019 holiday leave and he is off until the 15th of August, which is brilliant. <laughs> it's gonna to be tough for him going back to work after that, but he'll manage. But yeah, we've got basically two months free to do whatever we want. I've got no work, he's got no work. Um, unfortunately, we can't do much traveling out of the country, but uh, we're trying to organize to go to Ischia like we usually do at the end of June. Basilica, Tu ce l'hai questi qua? Ehm, um, penso che stanno uscendo giallo e arancione eh, adesso. Io, ma, ma, ma tu faccio vedere, aspetta, vieni. Scuola fa, 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 fa tutti i compiti in nome. Right, that was a great success. The two dresses that I bought to his mum were perfect. She absolutely loved them. And I've given them this zucchini, which they're going to cook for lunch. We had a nice long chat. And now I'm going back up to make pasta and zucchini, or maybe I'll do risotto with zucchini and gamberi or something. Oh, only another 700 stairs to go. Hello. Hello, Enzo. You didn't want to come with me, did you? Silly dog. See, si, Sovenenda. What is he doing to the chickens? Asta toliendo. Quello 
cosa era? ¿Qué cosa es esto? ¿Qué cosa es esto? So we found five eggs this morning. Four chickens, five eggs. And it looks like we're getting another one. Holy. Angry chicken. <laughs> egg number six today. Four chickens, six eggs in one day. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Who knew? Let's have the egg controller check it. Is everything okay? Yeah, is my fun more interesting? There we go. Okay, egg controlled. <laughs> garden gate. I have never really thought much about it other than the fact that it needs a coat of paint but apparently Carla does not like it and he never has liked it. He doesn't like that big blank panel at the bottom there and he has decided of course to make a new gate. So he has gone up to his cousins who owns a forge and together they are going to make a new gate. I think they actually made that one together about 30 years ago so now they are making another one and um, we spent the morning trying to decide what sort of gate we want i'm going to show you a few little images of that carlo has decided well it's actually been a long time deciding but he wants to change the front gate which is very old slightly broken and not very pretty so we're looking at gate designs and he has found well actually i found These, which he quite likes. Serve solo per non far entrare le persone, ma devi vedere quello che c'è dopo il cancello. Mm. È più bella. Questo è proprio adatto che vedi chiaramente quello che c'è dopo. And also, while I am going up, almost brand new MacBook Air is going back. I bought this in the middle of lockdown, um, I was making more videos and I have been really, really struggling with my 2012 Mac Air. It just didn't have enough space. I would have to make half a video, save it on an external hard drive, wipe everything to make the second half of the video, wipe everything again, and then bring them both back in and stick them together. And that was how I was making videos. Seeing as I started making more videos, I couldn't go on that way. It was just far too complicated. And I was hoping to upgrade to Final Cut Pro so I could do better subtitles and just make the whole thing better. So I bit the bullet and with the help of my patrons, I bought a new MacBook Air and it has been an absolute nightmare. It from the first moment did not work. The iMovie app has a bug in it where after 10 minutes of using it, it completely seizes up and freezes and you get the spinning wheel of death. And I would have to shut it all down and load it all up again and start again. And after 10 minutes, I'd have to shut it down again. I immediately got onto Apple support and spent probably about, hang on, wait, since the 4th of May, I have been in contact at least two or three times a week with a engineer at Apple support trying to sort out this problem. He has now finally come back to me saying that other reports of this problem have come in. What would I like to do? And I said, at this point, I want to replace this laptop. And I'm hoping that the new one that I get in a few days time will not also have this problem because I really, really need one that works. It's taken me an absolute age to edit videos just because every 10 minutes I have to shut down iMovie and restart it again. And it's just been such a long drawn out ongoing process. I can't wait to get rid of this. So I'm taking it up to where our post is delivered and tomorrow the courier is coming to pick it up. Once this gets to the Apple warehouse, they will check it over and send me out a new one. And hopefully in a week's time, I'll have a new one. For now, I'm back to my old, slow uh, 2012 MacBook Air. Right, let's go up and see what Carlo is doing with the gate. What is Carlo up to? I 
Qualcosa da farmi vedere? Sto so per salvare. Fammi vedere le mani? Eh? Fammi vedere le mani? E fa schifo, che vuoi? È più divertente così. Agli uomini piace giocare se portate. Forza non a tutti, però. Ah, non puoi guardare. No, non sto guardando. Carlo fed the chickens this morning and there were only two eggs so I'm just gonna go and check to see if there's some more because I heard some very loud squawking a minute ago which probably means somebody laid and as we never visit them empty-handed I better bring them something they seem to enjoy these weeds here so I'm just pick a few of these That'll keep them busy and yes other twigs Hmm. Got to have a lot of eggs again. Maybe I'll take some up to Carlo's cousin. I am picking French beans and I wanted to answer a question that I get asked pretty much on every single video. Loads of people suggest that we get or ask why we haven't already got a wood-fired pizza oven in our garden. And the reason that we don't have one is because I already do all the cooking. I cook two meals twice a day and I like the chance to go out for pizza. Sometimes it's nice to have to not cook and to be able to go out and have a meal out. And if we had a pizza oven here, I would literally never get out the house again. So I do not want a pizza oven here. I am perfectly happy to go out for my pizzas every now and again. I think what you've got to remember is here it's not the same as maybe where you guys live, it's not a big city, it's just a small little town here. We don't have a full size supermarket, we don't have takeout service or deliveroo or any delivery services for food or anything like that and there isn't really a culture of ready-made meals so pretty much everything you eat is either made fresh at home or you go out to eat in a restaurant so i tend to have to cook twice a day and i just like being able to go out for a pizza once a week and not have to cook or think about washing up or what i'm gonna make so that is why we will not be getting a pizza oven here anytime soon so that i can have a break and i think it's a very well deserved break too Let's see if we have any ripe tomatoes yet. Wow, this has grown. Not quite ripe yet, but we are getting there. They always ripen at the bottom first and then the ones higher up take longer. Day two of Newgate manufacturing. Let's go and see what they're doing today. Right, what are they up to today? This looks interesting. For a little mountain walk mm. with Snow. Elizabeth. Hello. Hello, Lainey hello. and Rosie. Say hello. Tadpoles. <laughs> 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 
It is so beautiful here. I love coming here and just sitting in the dappled afternoon sunlight, watching the water sparkle and watching the tadpoles wiggle around. There's been tadpoles here for ages now. I wonder how long they will keep going for. So we finally got some post. Sky very happy here because she has finally had a delivery of all the clothes that she left in England way back in March when she had to leave in a hurry. Okay. So now she can stop wearing my clothes and wear her own. Yes. I, I have a little good. delivery. Now this has arrived because it's only arrived from Amalfi. And I know what this is going to be. And it's a very sweet little present from Lucy Keeley. These are two CDs of Lucy's. Lucy's music I have often used in my videos and every time I use it I get a ton of requests as to what this music is. It's Lucy Keeley. You can buy her music on Bandcamp. She is a Australian expat who's moved to Amalfi and her voice is amazing. So go ahead and look out for Lucy Keeley. We have been invited to another Sunday, no, Saturday pizza evening at the Neighbours. It is the best place to go out because we're very lazy. So it's just 100 metres down the pathway um, and it's the perfect night out for us. The little bed that Carlo made. It looks better and better each time I come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> We just felt a few drops of rain. Oh dear. La gente mangia vuocola.